Welcome to Easy Freezer Meals. My name is Eric, and today we're going to be making a keto cabbage soup, which is absolutely wonderful, whether you're into keto or not. If you watched my How to Make Cabbage Rolls video as an Easy Freezer Meal, then you'll know we had some ingredients left over. One of those ingredients was a lot of cabbage, and so I'm going to go ahead and rough chop that cabbage and set it to the side. If you're using fresh cabbage, just core your cabbage and rough chop it, then set it to the side. Next, you want to dice up your celery. You want to make sure that you get your onions diced up and then get your carrots diced up. Take all your vegetables, set them to the side, and look at what I got left over. I got all of these great carrot trimmings. So if you want to see how I turn all of these carrot trimmings into an amazing, incredible, supernatural bar of soap, stick around to the end and I'll make sure to post the link as soon as that video is ready. In a large pot, heat up some oil. You can use olive oil, avocado oil, you could use butter, coconut oil, it doesn't matter. Add your carrots and your onions. And what you want to do here is you want to saute them a little bit, give them just a little bit of color, and then soften them up. We don't want to overcook them. So as you cook this for about five to 10 minutes on about a medium heat, you're going to go ahead and add your celery. Celery cooks a little bit faster than onions and carrots. So once you've got that in, the very last thing you're going to add is your garlic. Mix that around. And now we're going to add our seasonings. And the seasonings are going to be listed below. In addition to the seasonings, add your tomato sauce, add your diced tomatoes, or you could use crushed tomatoes as well. And then finally, you're going to add your vegetable or chicken stock. And after each addition, make sure you stir it well to get it well incorporated. Finally, you're going to add your cabbage and cook it for about 30 minutes on a medium heat until your cabbage is nice and tender. You want it to be soft but still have a crunch to it. And I think you're going to love this soup because it is a great soul warming soup. It's great if you're in the keto diet. You've got the fat from the olive oil or the avocado oil. It's also low calorie, so it's great if you're trying to lose weight and you want to fill up fast. Let me show you what one looks like once we pull it out of the freezer. We froze these in quart-sized portions in freezer saver bags in our vacuum seal machine. And now we're about a week later. I'm going to pull one out. And as you can see, rock solid, super frozen. And all I'm going to do is take that bag and boil it for about 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes of boiling, let me show you what this soup looks like. It smells wonderful. The richness of the broth itself from the vegetable stock and the tomatoes. You've got all the wonderful textures of the vegetables. This soup is absolutely amazing. It's very filling. It's low in calorie. It's great for those kind of nights when it's stormy and cold and you just want something to warm you from the inside out. Thanks for watching this video. That's how you make cabbage soup. I hope you get a chance to make it. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for sticking around. If you're new here, we make freezer meals. We make videos about freezer meals. We share secrets about freezer meals. So be sure to click that subscribe button and that notification bell. A thumbs up would be nice. And if you really like it, be sure to share it with your friends. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video.